Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox flies over a grocery store closed after giant cracks show up in the pavement. They think it may be related to old underground mining. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live in Belleville now with a look at the sinking store, evacuations in the area, and what officials are saying about this problem. Kelly? Well, Mandy, that store in question is Ruler Foods, a store right here behind me. But take a look at that pavement uh, right here, as you can see. Uh, it buckled here, which raised some serious concerns for residents and authorities here in the area. Some Belleville residents woke up to chaos as several homes had to be evacuated and their local food market had to be closed due to concerns about possible mine subsidence. I got a call on Sunday morning from our streets department and uh, that was the first I heard of it. And we came out here and just observed the same thing that you all are seeing as the buck buckling in the pavement and the tilting of some of the ballards. Officials say a old former mine is beneath the area. Ruler's Foods and Belleville's temporarily closed as a result. And we just uh, began reaching out to people that knew more about it than we did. We contacted uh, Illinois Department of Natural Resources and they've responded and they're going to continue to monitor the situation. From Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox, you can see the bright signs were placed on the street as structural engineers were going in and out of the building doing an assessment. Residents say they saw the cracks in the concrete over the weekend and called 911. Saturday, there was that buckle in that road, a big old speed bump, and this just started crumbling. Emergency responders feared for the building's utilities, like gas lines, and Ameren crews responded to give the all clear. We did evacuate uh, three homes, but that, that was just in an abundance of caution until we could get the experts in here to let us know you know, if, if they were safe to continue to live there. Authorities say it's unclear when the store might reopen and residents were assured the area was safe. Reporting from Belleville, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.